Hi, it's Mary. Okay, we're gonna do a video on um, dissolving lips um, or just dissolving in general. So, um, really quick, the stuff that you need um, in the United States, Hyaluronic, or which is hyaluronidase, which is an enzyme that breaks down hyaluronic acid. This is the only thing in the United States that um, I believe is FDA approved um, to use for dissolving filler. So it comes in a box of four. They're 150 unit vials um, each. So four of these guys to make 600 units total in this box. Um, there is a lot of argument out there about how much you should have in your med spot one time or if you're mobile or whatever. Um, the minimum for sure is one full box for safety reasons um, in emergencies. I know like at the very least you should walk around with one of these full. And if you go and dissolve somebody's lips and you use one of these vials, you need to re-up on your thing. You should have a minimum of 600 units total for an emergency situation. And there's a lot of arguments out there for up to 2,400 units. So, so four of these boxes, or six, four of these boxes, yeah, um, is what some people argue you should have at minimum at all times on you if you're going to be doing filler for safety reasons. So um, we, the industry is trying to come out with a standard for how to uh, reconstitute or dilute, I should say. It comes reconstituted, it already comes in one milliliter in a liquid. But there's no like standard way to dilute this when you're going to dissolve something. Um, even when in an emergency situation, if you're trying to get it to spread over an area more, like you know around here, diluting it, not diluting it, I would vote not to dilute it and to just pull up as much as you could, as fast as you could, um, and stick it in. But sometimes when we're doing lips and stuff and there's no um, emergency, we're just doing it to refill them and you know start over. Um, how much you dilute it with is arbitrary. Um, it kind of, for me, depends on what's going on in the lip, how much filler the client reports is in there that I'm dissolving and kind of what it feels, how hard it is. Um, so it really is based off of a feeling. Um, diluting those really mainly just for the spread and stuff. So it's not really for any other reason. So that, for that reason, it's kind of, that's why it's so arbitrary. Um, pre, pre, um, we use Hyalinex to try to dissolve anything, even like Sculptra and stuff, if we feel like there's an emergency situation because there's nothing else to, to use. Um, but there's not really a lot of pre-instructions. Of course, you would have an allergic reaction to it. Um, the post is swelling and then this stuff burns really bad and it's not something you can really numb away. You can numb the lips and um, do a dental block on the lips and it does help. But even when I've done that on patients, they report it still burns. So, um, we probably, we might do that. Do you want a dental block? Um, Jesse here, our lovely model is um, pretty tough. So uh, I think we're just gonna go for it. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, but a dental block is an option you can, for, for the lips that you could offer uh, your clients to make it a little bit more uh, comfortable. So I'm, um, Jesse's lips here don't have a lot of filler in them. I've already felt around on them. Um, so they, um, they're they pretty soft. Uh, she still has a really defined border up here, but I'm just trying in her lower lip. I think all of her filler is for the most part gone, but we wanted to kind of start over since it is mostly gone. I don't mind building on filler to be clear. And I don't even mind on her lips in particular to build on it, but it's like she has such little filler left in there that I would rather just dissolve the upper lip because she has a beautiful cupid's bow and I really want to augment that and see if I can get her lip to avert when I do her lips, which we will definitely post that video to um, after this. So post Hyalinex, there's a big argument about how long you're supposed to wait. The half-life of Hyalinex is only like five minutes. If you put filler in your hand and put Hyalinex in your hand and swish it around, it dissolves, it starts dissolving it almost immediately. Um, but we still shouldn't 